Stan Breckage's Dog Starman is a series of short experimental films created between 1961 and 1964 in which a man and his dog's ascent up a forested mountain is portrayed. This is not the entirety of the film, as much of Breckage's distinctive filmmaking and editing aesthetic are preserved here, scattered and overlaid shots creating visual collages and disorienting multi-layered images, erratic scratches and disintegrations on film stock. Dog Starman is a scrapbook of Brackage doing what Brackage does best. Completely silent, Dog Starman often feels kaleidoscopic and dizzying. Images are cut so quickly that it is difficult at times to grasp what it is exactly we are glimpsing. It sometimes feels these images should not be seen, that they are something truly private or explicit, and yet it feels impossible to determine what every frame offers. It's a disorienting effect that the film has, like a scattershot reflection of decay memories or flipping through a rotten photo album. Glimpses are provided to something that is or was, but it is no longer possible to recognise what actually is. The shots of the man and his dog within a forest climbing up an icy mountain are challenging to discern too, as these images are contorted through Brackage's unique visual aesthetic. Dog Star Man is a complex film collage where textures and images should wash over the viewer, encouraging a viewing experience that can be meditative or speculative to what Watch Dog Starman as a meditative piece is to allow it to perform for us. Images of water, microscopic close-ups of ice and snowflakes, solar flares, and seemingly still images of colours that move. As an ambient piece, its quick editing pace may initially be erratic, but as the film is edited mostly to this quick pace, it almost becomes a blur. Certain images are bound to stand out to each individual viewer, but as a whole it's like a chalkboard wiped clean. Dog Starman explores the boundaries of editing in cinema. To what extent can a film be manipulated? Is there such a thing as too many edits? Is there a potential narrative to string together? Why is it exactly that Brackage chose to show these specific images to us? To consider Dog Starman in this manner is speculative, and it's difficult not to speculate throughout the duration of this film. Certain shots, such as a baby and a mother, intercut with shots of the man wading through snow on the mountain, aren't dissimilar to flashes of fading memories, glimpses into a past that felt almost forgotten, which is similar to Dog Starman's decaying photo album quality. The overall effect can be bewildering and almost mystical, Dog Starman providing a language that only it could truly decipher, but each viewer is likely to provide their own speculation based on how they felt while watching it. To be confused, frustrated, at peace, annoyed or joyed by Dog Starman is valid. A difficult film to dissect, it is, however, a fascinating one. The technical filmmaking aspect of Dog Starman is impressive. The layers to each edited image via overlaid image on overlaid image on overlaid image. The quick jump cuts, the numerous scratches on film stock that are like streams of water across the screen. The cool glacial glow of the film tinting. Brackage demonstrates an intelligence in his lateral thinking as a filmmaker, using the medium in refreshing, unexpected ways that are influencing filmmakers to this day. Stan Brackage's influences especially apparent in the films of Don Hertzfeld, such as the World of Tomorrow series and It's Such a Beautiful Day. David Parkinson commenting on Dog Starman's visual aesthetic while writing for Empire Magazine back in the year 2000, stated that, in an age in which visual effects are invariably achieved by computers, it's staggering to consider the dedication that went into the production of Stan Brackage's exhilarating masterpiece, let alone the artistic vision that inspired it. The multi-layered superimpositions are fascinating, if disconcerting, but it's the hand-applied additions to the celluloid that made this so unique in 1962 and so compelling now. David isn't wrong here, the multi-layered imagery is fascinating to try and decode and decipher. What is this and what is that? But the added texturing of the film through the implementation of scratched and disintegrating film stock adds another inventive dimension to the film's presentation, and it's not meant to be a clean viewing, but an effectively sensory one. While Brackage's films are complex poetic pieces, they fully embrace the cinematic medium through unconventional techniques as something truly and purely visual. 
conclusion, Stan Brakhage's Dog Starman makes filmmaking a scrapbook to be scribbled in. It feels erratic, messy, confounding, perplexing, and complex. But Dog Starman is also an intelligent piece of technical experimental filmmaking with such an engaging editing aesthetic, one that is difficult to replicate. Stan Brakhage manages to create a film that is purely visual expression, a classic poetic piece provided by one of the most fascinating, influential voices in experimental cinema.